ACDC is one of few rock bands celebrated by both younger and older generations alike. Their songs have left an indelible mark on music, culture, and songwriting. While many other bands and artists originating from the same time and style had scared off mainstream audiences, ACDC enjoyed widespread appeal, even while writing songs with controversial content. There are many reasons why ACDC attained this level of universal adoration. For starters, everything about the band exudes fun. Angus Young's stage presence was irresistible and is still the standard that lead guitar players hold themselves to today. They also had a tenacious work ethic on full display in the 1979 film Let There Be Rock. And they knew how to write catchy choruses with easily repeatable lyrics for maximum crowd chanting pleasure. However, I do believe there's another reason for their mass appeal, and it relates directly to the music itself, how it's composed, and a little scale called Mixolydian. You've probably heard the following sequence. This is known as the major scale, a set of notes that can be created by performing the right amount of whole steps and half steps. Most of the music we hear on a daily basis is composed in the major scale, especially when it comes to advertisements and children's songs. But the major scale is so happy, it borders on annoyingly sweet, like a delicious cupcake with far too much frosting. Hear for yourself as I play some chords from the major scale underneath the major scale. Now, if I wanted to scrape off some of that delicious frosting and take away some of the sweetness of the scale, I could bring in Mixolydian. All I have to do is take my major scale and flat the seventh note. That means to lower it one half step. Now, this already sounds a little less happy and more interesting, but the real magic happens when we use the chords available to us using these seven notes. By putting them together, we get progressions like these. These Mixolydian progressions form the backbone of ACDC sound. And if we add vocal lines that include a minor third, it will sound very similar to the band's compositions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To my ear, Mixolydian sounds like Major's rebellious little brother. The two scales have a lot of the same positive characteristics, but Mixolydian just feels more cool. More yeah and yeah. The undeniably fun sound of ACDC songs is what I believe allowed them to write lyrics like these and have them loved by kids but not denounced as satanic demon-worshipping music by their parents. I mean, I highly doubt that the lyrics to Highway to Hell would have been so easily accepted by parents if they were saying over something in a harmonic minor key with blast beats and growling vocals. Hey Satan, pay my dues I'm in a rotten This does not make mom want to dance. So many of ACDC's songs are built on this scale that it's sort of a defining characteristic of their music. The running joke is that they've written the same album 15 times, and there are unsourced rumors and quotes on the internet that the band themselves agree with this. But the association between Mixolydian and ACDC's music is so strong that it can be difficult to write in Mixolydian keys without it sounding like an ACDC song. They're certainly not alone in using this scale. For example, Norwegian Wood by the Beatles uses Mixolydian throughout the verses to make it a little more interesting and uplifting. And in Born This Way by Lady Gaga, Mixolydian provides the heavily energized and positive harmonic layer to an already motivational song. But if we took the chords, melodies, and lyrics of Born This Way and put them over an electric guitar with a 4-4 rock beat in the background, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's an ACDC song. So if you're a musician with a message to tell, it's worth considering the musical elements you can use to deliver that message. By picking musical elements with wide appeal, you increase your chance of having your message being heard by a wider audience. And you can negate the negative reaction you might have from some possibly controversial content. It's true that a lot of people love songs like Pumped Up Kicks and House of the Rising Sun without ever thinking about what the content of that song really is because the music itself doesn't take them to a dark place. And I'm certainly not saying you should sacrifice the message and soul of your music just to make it more acceptable to parents. But it certainly doesn't help to brighten things up a bit. And I think Mixolydian is an excellent choice for that. It makes listeners feel energized, positive, and happy without getting too sugary. And hey, if it's good enough for ACDC, it's good enough for me. How beautiful!